When I first heard the word deduction, I was a middle schooler reading Sherlock Holmes stories, mesmerized by his use of cocaine and questionable terminology. Luckily, he was a fictional character, so we can blame the author for popularizing the word deduction the way he did instead, as it is important to make the differentiation. Deductive reasoning is taking some facts, and then using logic to figure out something that was already there, but not immediately apparent. If you know all dogs bark, and you see a dog, you can deduce that it will bark. The dog's ability to bark was all there, but it wasn't immediately obvious. Some say that the earliest recorded use of deductive reasoning dates back to ancient Mesopotamia around 3000 BCE, but its purest form comes from Aristotle's syllogism, which moves one from general principles like all humans are mortal, to specific conclusions like Socrates is mortal. Unlike inductive reasoning, which builds general rules from specific observations, deduction works top-down. It starts with established truths and drills down to inevitable conclusions, is all about validity. If the premises are true and the logic is sound, the conclusion must be true, and it all becomes as certain as 2 plus 2 equals 4. But there's a catch. Garbage in, garbage out. Deductive reasoning is only as good as its starting premises. If you say that all cats are green and that Fluffy is a cat, you must conclude that Fluffy is green, which is logically valid, but absurd. Deductive reasoning shines in closed systems with clear rules, and it often needs to team up with its inductive cousin if you want to survive in the real world. The Middle Ages pushed it forward, with Thomas Aquinas and William of Ockham building on Aristotle's work, while the scientific revolution of the 16th and 17th centuries saw the application of deductive reasoning in scientific inquiry, particularly in the work of Galileo Galilei and Isaac Newton. The development of modern logic, led by mathematicians such as Gottlob Frege and Bertrand Russell, provided a formal framework moving forward. In mathematics, it's the bedrock of proofs, while in courtrooms, it's how lawyers construct airtight arguments. It slowly became the backbone of computer programming as every if-then statement is deduction in action. Deductive reasoning is about unpacking the implications of what we already know. It's the logical scalpel that cuts through complexity to reveal hidden truths. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.